when it came to assigning a story about the culture of camping in Walmart parking lots, I knew from first-hand experience that sending two photographers would be better than sending someone out solo. I spent much of 2013 driving around the country with my then-partner in a Honda Element we had outfitted into a camper. That year, more nights than not, we camped in Walmart parking lots. The constant proximity required that the photographers I assigned be real-life friends. The aesthetic I was looking for required that they each possess a photographic style that would complement the others. The ask spend four days sleeping in the back of a rental van in parking lots throughout the South required that they both be willing to tolerate discomfort, ranging from slight inconveniences to full-blown back pain. I knew George Etheridge and Mike Bellamy would be game. Last week, I asked the photographers a few questions about their experience. How did you two meet, originally? Mike Bellamy, we met through skateboarding. George showed up in Asheville, North Carolina, where the skate scene was somewhat insular, and we skated together a few times. At some point, George posted that he was thinking about quitting skateboarding because he didn't have anyone to skate with, and I responded, saying, you should come out with us more. Eventually we adopted him into our little skate crew, and then he took over and got better than everyone else. Then the same thing happened with photography. How did you decide what to pack? Megabyte, we met up in Asheville the day before we left, to plan. I'm a notorious underpacker in general, but overpacker when it comes to photo gear. I pretty much just brought bedding, clothes, and camera stuff. I bought a ton of different types of lead lights from Lowe's, then a couple more from Walmart, and then I got some white pantyhose for diffusion, super high tech. Then we went food shopping together on our way out of town. Did you have a route mapped out ahead of time? Megabyte, we were trying to decide between going west along I-40, to get cross-country travelers, or north to south. I figured Florida was the belly of the beast when it comes to RVS, so we headed south. There's an app that tells you which Walmarts allow overnight parking. At first we were looking for areas that had a lot of Walmarts, but then we switched tactics and tried sparse areas where travelers stopping for the night might be more concentrated. I'm not sure if it was a flaw in our logic or just the time of year, but we didn't find as many people as we had hoped. Did you run into any trouble on the trip? Megabyte there was a whole lot of downtime as we got into the wee hours of the night in Savannah, Gage, just hoping for someone to pull into the parking lot. We tried to figure out creative ways to shoot the same scenes. I came up with the idea of setting up two LEDs on a stand, getting the light dialed in and then moving them around to shoot lit portraits of the RVS themselves. I decided I would try to get each one in a single frame so that I wouldn't have to keep popping off flashes while people were trying to sleep. I fired off one test shot and it caught the attention of the security guard.